Hey folks, so yesterday we've been discussing how important it is to have good skills in the game. So I came back to the training ground because it's just about time to give you another like more advanced lesson or practice guide on how you can become better in the game. And before I start shooting around, uh, let me excuse myself for my voice because I still have the allergy and I want to show you some more advanced settings, okay? Because these are really important. First of all, I'm going to start with tapping, um, I mean, peak mode, tap versus hold. So by default, usually people have it on a uh, tap and I've been playing, you know, my last, I don't know, 800, 900 hours with like having it on um, on tap basically when i tap you know i peak this is like literally the the wrong thing to do because although it might be harder to have it on hold but you can peak much faster and you can also decide for how long you want to peak and let me remind you at this point that fights and you know winning the fights is all about speed and accuracy so it really makes a difference if you peak for a long time or if you just peak for a single second or you know half of a second. So that's my first advice. Start getting used to that instead of uh, tap. Try to set that to hold and then, you know, just start practicing. Don't do it with high end guns. Just use some of the budget guns to cover dops or whatever until you get used to it. And uh, there are settings where it says camera rotation while ADS, camera rotation while firing with left button, and there's one more camera rotation while peaking. Let me show you what that is. If I have it on, on, um, then when I peak and, and I hold the peak, then I can steal with my left finger like you know move the screen we don't want that because you can accidentally move the camera uh i don't even understand why this is a, a good uh, option but that but have it off now that we have set everything properly we are ready to do the first exercise and as a warm-up just to um you know steal targets and do 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 headshots okay just you know to practice just to warm up your fingers it's always a good practice. Don't mind if you are running out of um, arm stamina. Just one tap uh, the heads. By the way, these guys, my, my dummies, have T6 helmets. This is why sometimes they don't die. But uh, after doing some headshots, and if you think you are ready and warmed up, the first, the very first actual practice we want to do is to mimic like a real fight scenario because in reality if you see an enemy you will never scope and then aim to the head and then just do a one tap but in real fights what's what you should be learning is to spray but not to spray like for endlessly long like not like this like you know we don't we don't we don't we don't fight like this it just doesn't make sense the way we should be fighting is that you should have like short sprays, like 10 bullets or something like that. So this is the thing we're going to practice first. Steel uh, dummies, which don't move. They should be standing still. And uh, what you want to do is to aim somewhere here to the upper part of the armor because, because of the recoil. You know, it's going to slightly automatically move to the head and most likely you're going to do um, a headshot or... Let's aim to do a neck shot, okay? Because in most of the cases, if you hit the neck of the enemy, that's even better than doing a headshot because then you can be absolutely sure that your target is gonna die. But if you aim at the upper part of the armor, then most likely what's gonna happen, you know, as you can see, uh, your target is gonna die because, because of the recoil the vertical recoil, uh, you're going to hit the head. And this is what we're going to practice, okay? If you want to, you can um, make this exercise a bit more complex by not just standing still. You could, like, assume that you're going to have a wall here, like here, and then you're going to run, and let's assume there's a corridor here, and you run, you turn to the left, you see your enemy and you start spraying. One thing to consider is that 
on the training ground, the aim assist always like um, messes up your aim because every time you want to shoot at the target, which is like, you know, at the back, no matter what I do, it's going to try to hit this target. So keep that in mind. And what you want to do, it's pretty hard, um, you know, like to do it while I'm trying to explain stuff. But the thing you want to do, the ultimate goal of this exercise should be to do it as fast as you can. Okay. So the aim shouldn't take too long. It's 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 not that game where you can just you know aim for hundreds of seconds. You should be fast. You should be practicing to spray them fast without having to you know um, think too much because you're not gonna have that time. If you are fast enough, then you can try doing it with the with the moving targets same story you are here you have no clue where your actual enemy is and then you run and then you start spraying so the next very important thing we want to practice is shooting while we peak and you can do that again with uh, targets which are standing in one place and basically what you want to practice is that Let's assume again that we have a wall here and then you scope or zoom and then while you peek, you do a headshot. And you can again start with like one tapping uh, and you can do it left, right. You can change like the left and right peak. And basically after you feel that you have enough practice with, uh, with uh, the one tap version, then you can again change to do it in in spray mode like in short spray mode like this and once you are done with that or once you feel that you practiced enough you are doing it for five or ten minutes then the next thing you want to do is that try to shorten the time of your peak so instead like you know peaking for a long time what you want to do to master is just to peak for a very short time and then the shoot and if you're tr if you are good in you know hitting your targets then you can you're gonna know that you're getting there the next thing we want to practice is crouch shooting and i know not everybody is doing that but if you have seen my full um you know, Shady Awards video, then you can see that, for example, Kiwi is doing it sometimes. Not all the times, but it's very annoying for the enemy that you start crouching at the time you start shooting. I'm going to show it like step by step what needs to be achieved and then good luck with practicing. But basically, if you run or if you spot an enemy, then you need to tap the ADS or zoom button at the same time as you press the crouch and at the same time trying to aim at the upper part of the body or eventually head. This specifically is something I also need to practice. Um, and I remove my elbows from the desk because you know, I, I, cannot, I cannot zoom and aim like that. But I'm going to try to demonstrate as much as I can. To explain, guys, why I feel this is hard to master in Arena Breakout, um, we need to go a bit deeper into settings. So if I tap the crouch button, then if I have my finger exactly on the crouch button, then you cannot move the camera. So if you're tapping the crouch at the edge of the button, you can instantly start like looking around with the same thumb. But this is like only my problem because as you can see i have the crouch um, on the right bottom side of the screen for me it's pretty hard to press the crouch and at the same time zoom and then press the crouch or tap the crouch in a way where i can ensure that i can still aim but if you have any good suggestions on you know how, how to perform that then anytime, you know, a comment is welcome. But be cautious with this because it can backfire. So if you're not doing it quickly enough, then uh, 
your enemy is going to have an easy time to, to kill you because if you are, you know, trying to crouch and then zoom, uh, by the time, you know, you're going to be dead. So this only makes sense if you can be fast enough. And the idea behind this is that you're going to trick the enemy by revealing you and then they're going to start aiming at your head. And then at the time they aim at your head, you're going to crouch and therefore they need to like reposition their, um, you know, their crosshair. All righty, the next one you're going to enjoy. This is going to be fun. It's about nading. So nading is an essential part of arena breakout, because if you can nade properly, then you can ensure that you have a big advantage. And this is what you should not be doing. So yeah, let me get back to the training round. I was obviously hitting this on purpose, but it was good to demonstrate what happens if you fail. So you should be uh, positioning yourself here where without peeking, you can you clearly hit the wall that is in front of you. If you would stand differently, then obviously you would reveal yourself to the enemy. We don't want that. Let's assume that those dummies actually you know, look into your direction. So we need to stand like this. Um, and with the peak, what we want to achieve is to like, peak for a second, not for a long time, because maybe if you peak, they're going to see your head. So we're just going to peak for a, a very, very short time. You're going to peak and then throw the nade and go back. And this is the movement you need to, you need to practice. Okay. We're going to practice that to the left and the right as well. This is what you want to do that by the time the nade already like starts flying in the air, you're going to already be back into cover and again the faster you can do that the better and the impact nade is actually a very good one to to practice like how fast you can do it in real time because if you if you get back to cover too quickly then you're gonna hit yourself if you do it like this then i would say you are still very slow so the the the, the professional players are really just for peaking for a very very short time so that's something like this this is this is how it should go every time no longer than that so if you need more time like this and then you aim then most likely you are already dead on the battleground you don't have a second chance uh but here you can do it endlessly long just put like 10 impact nades in your rig and then you can practice that to avoid like hitting yourself and the very last thing i want you to practice guys is quick peeking or body baiting i'm not sure if that's the like the the official name of it but quick peek means that you're standing next to the wall and you're just quickly peeking to understand like the position of your enemies and i'm going to show you the difference okay uh, i'm going to put it back to um to tap and this what would happen if you peek like regularly as you can see it's I think it's relatively slow. I don't know where on screen you have your peak, but try to practice that in both directions because you're going to need that. And what many of the professional players do is to is they they bait the enemy by standing next to the wall and and starting to quick peek. And the people we are talking about who are really professional in the, in the game don't forget that those most of them have experience with other games, Apex Legends, um Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG, and whatsoever. So it's not that they have they've been born with like you know godlike skills. Don't be shy to try it out when you are actually in the game, like on TV station, Northridge, or whatever. Try try it, okay? Even if you die, pick up something you don't mind losing, and then start trying these type of things on purpose. Remind yourself that. You know, we've been nading on the training ground. Now in the real fight, I'm going to do the same. And then over time, you just get used to it and you're going to implement that into your gameplay. And the other one is the body baiting. Um, if there is an official name for that, then let me know. But basically, it's like, again, we are going to imagine that here we have a wall and here we have the enemies and the quick bait or the body bait is that you, you run outside and then you run back. It's it's more of like a movement type of thing, but you need to practice that movement. This is something Yusuf is doing often, and he's combining like all of the things I've been mentioning, so he can easily like bait the enemy like this. Or no, maybe he starts with a pick, quick peek, 
he sees the enemy, then he's doing like two or three body baits, and then he's switching to nade, then he's throwing a quick nade, and then he's like going outside and destroying the enemies. That's what Yusuf is doing, but he's doing it so naturally that he he you know he's he's not like you know stressed or 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 anxious in any way. So this brings me back to the original statement of this video. It's all about speed and accuracy. This is what we need to practice. This is what we need to practice on the training ground and then also in the real games. If you guys have any additional ideas on how to practice specific things, then leave me a comment or join my Discord and leave some you know, thoughts there. It's not something you're going to learn like in one training session, you need to do it for days, for weeks, or even for months. I've been practicing for a while now and uh, it just doesn't go like that. I hope you enjoyed and you found it useful. As always, shoot, loot, subscribe and see you in the next one. Shady out. Bye.